At Davis Tint and Awning, we only sell products we can believe in. It was over 15 years ago when we were trying to find a good cot to sell and didn't have any luck doing so. So we designed and made the Big Boy Cot. We've been making this cot for well over 15 years with tremendous success. As you see, the cot comes with a set of instructions because it's unlike the military cot that has the legs hinged and the rails pre-assembled. This cot you physically have to put together much like our, our wall tents. You have these angle brackets. Pay attention on our instruction sheet and you can see that toll-free number comes into play when you're laying these angles out. You just want to make sure those angles are laid out as in the picture with that toll-free number printing side down. So you lay out the six angle brackets, and then it's just a matter of assembling the cot. The cot comes with four rails. Those are the ones that run front to back, or head to toe, I should have said. And they just slide over the connector pieces. The connector pieces are made out of a cast aluminum. The tubing that we are using is a one inch galvanized steel EMT tubing. It's a very durable, very heavy duty uh, material. I think our cot is the strongest, most durable cot on the market today. It does weigh 31 pounds. We do have outfitters that pack them. They feel it's worth it. We do get one distinct advantage over the military cot. Like I said earlier, the, the military cots have the legs that are on hinges. Because our legs um, come off, when we go to put that last corner together on our cot, it's quite easy to do. And the reason for that is we can pick the corner, the last corner of the cot up and make it crooked. And this relieves all the tension. I'll show you that right now. So I'm putting the last rail in. The rails come with two sets of holes so you get the desired firmness on the cot bed that you'd like. Typically the inside holes are the ones you want to use. So now when you go to put this last corner together, if you pick the cot up and make it crooked like that, you can literally put this together with two fingers. And it gets tight when it drops back down flat like that. So from this point, it's just a matter of putting the legs on. If you follow the instructions, the legs will go on with no problems. If you're having an issue where the, the legs won't go on, you did not follow the instructions correctly, um, the legs have a scissor action, so there's a left and a right on the legs. So when you lay the angles out, you will see how that works. Once you've done it once, it's really a no-brainer. As you can see, this video is three and a half minutes long, and I pretty much have the cot together. Now, there's nothing holding these legs on, so when you go to flip the cot over, get all three legs touching, and then just flip it on over. I weigh well over 200 pounds, and you can see it's a very durable, stout cot. There's a couple other guys in the shop. I just called them over to have them demonstrate how durable the cot is. We could have easily had five or six people standing on this cot. It's the strongest one made today. We also sell a cot pad that works real well with the big boy cot.